<laughs> Halloween was uh, first celebrated in the United States more than a century ago. Back then it was associated with the end of summer and evil spirits. This morning we're getting a lesson in Halloween history from Sally Ann Glassman, an ordained high priestess of voodoo. Uh, Halloween and voodoo are uh, kind of a big deal there in New Orleans, right? Well, voodoo did get its start in the United States in New Orleans. It arrived in uh, slave ships in 1719. And contrary to popular belief, voodoo is actually a beautiful, life-affirming religion that, that helped the slaves to endure slavery. But in the process, it made its influence felt throughout New Orleans history and culture and traditions. It's um, everywhere around us and we celebrate it every day and especially at Halloween time. Uh, Sally Ann Glassman doesn't sound quite like a voodoo priestess name. How did you become uh, a priestess? <laughs> Well, I got the calling from spirit. I was minding my own business in Maine, where I'm from, and, and got called down to New Orleans because I thought voodoo and jazz would be really interesting, and indeed they were. I ultimately initiated in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and brought some of that religion back with me to the city. Uh, now, if I ask the wrong questions, you're not going to create a little, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, stick pins in a pin cushion uh, looks, that looks like me, are you? Well, not unless you really provoke me, but actually <laughs> voodoo has nothing to do with spells and hexes and pin cushions and, and dolls with pins in it. It's about finding power and beauty in life. And that's a lot of what happens at Halloween time. It's the, the time of year when the veil between the living and the dead is most diffuse. So we call on spirits to come and visit with us and our beloved dead. A lot of people have a lot of fear about death, but if we can put on a mask and we can can play with it and we can dance with it. It's not so scary as it was before. In New Orleans, we're all about that and we like to dress up and, and celebrate in the streets every day of the year. So uh, even if you can't get here for Halloween, come on down for our festivals and ongoing celebrations. We've got a lot coming up in the fall. We've got the Treme Gumbo Festival and we've got the Po' Boy Festival. And we're even thinking ahead and getting dressed up and ready for our Christmas New Orleans style. Yeah, you know, Halloween's the second biggest holiday after Christmas. And we're looking at video right now of uh, the parade that you were talking about. How big a parade is that as we return to video? The, um, the parade is the crew of Boo, I guess you're looking at, and um, what I would suggest to everybody is that you bring your mask and join in the masquerade and in the party in the street and have a blast down here in New Orleans with us. Our, our history, our culture is all around us all the time, and we use any excuse to go out and have a party. So what is the best uh, voodoo-centric movie? I'm guessing it's not Live and Let Die with James Bond. <laughs> you are so right. Um, I'm not sure that there's been a really great voodoo-centric movie. A long time ago, a woman named Maya Deren, who was an experimental filmmaker, went to Haiti and took footage of actual possession. And it's very different than what you see with Linda Blair's head spinning around in The Exorcist. Or, or Angel Heart with Mickey Rourke in... Uh Robert De Niro, Lisa Bonet. <laughs> Absolutely. I think the real thing would surprise people. It's beautiful dancing and singing. And actually, as you go around New Orleans, as you dance, as you eat the food, that's really voodoo that you're experiencing. The, the food came out of African culture, the, the rhythms, the dance steps, all of it came out of voodoo. And New Orleans very definitely dances to an Afro-Caribbean beat. Yep, and it's the voodoo that you do that keeps us coming back to New Orleans. Thank you so much for the time. All right, thank you. And check us out at neworleanscvb.com.